So, uh, collision shapes. This one is going to be fun. So I'm going <laughs> to add a load of objects. Uh, sphere, cube, cone, torus, plane, and then the new platonic solid. I'll create a mesh network. All you get is a load of um, whatever the <laughs> first object you selected was. Um, and uh, I just want to have lots of different objects. So let's have a add an ID node. And we will, um, what should we do? Let's just add a grid and create lots of objects. Okay, so here are objects. Let's make them a bit more random. So let's just choose random here. And let's space them out a little bit more. Okay, so we have lots of objects, uh, different shapes and things. And we'll just add dynamics to this. So we'll add dynamics and then um, in fact, what might be more fun is if we go to mesh and we add a random node and add random rotation to these things. So take the position and then just like make them have very random rotations and hit play. So we have lots of objects falling down and then they're all colliding. Um, so uh, let's have a look at the collision shapes for this. So if I... Uh, go to the bullet solver and turn on collision shapes. We can view all the collision shapes for these objects. Um, so by default, on the dynamics node, the collision shape is set to automatic. Now automatic will detect box collision shapes, it will detect convex hulls, and it will detect meshes. So those are the three collision shapes that automatic can choose. Okay, so in the situation where we have a box here, uh, the collision shape chosen automatically will be box. And in the case where we have a hole in an object, that would make it a concave collision shape. We have chosen mesh. And then in the other situations, like for the cone and for the platonic solid here, um, convex hull have been chosen. So that's convex hull. So mesh is concave collision shape. It's the only one that will support objects with holes in. Um, it's worth noting that uh, convex hull is a pretty decent collision shape. Uh, box sphere, capsule, and cylinder are all very good, like very high quality. Um, and mesh is the worst quality collision shape because it's the hardest one to do. So a mesh would be anything with a hole in it or anything with um, uh, a recess in it. Uh, I'll give you some examples in a, in a minute. Um, so if I was to change this to uh, convex hull, you'll see that the collision shape for the tor tori, toruses, tori uh, changes, um, and we've lost the hole. So we've now got edges going across the hole there, uh, which means that if I now rewind and press play, we still get a really similar collision. Because effectively, in this situation, we don't need the hole. And so it's best, if you don't need the hole, uh, for you to just pick your own uh, collision shape. I'm just going to turn friction up a little bit. Um, and if I turn rolling friction up a little bit as well. Um, so if you don't need to have a shape, if you don't need to have like a mesh collision shape, then just don't pick one, basically, is, um, is what I'm going to say, because it's it's uh, slow and low quality, so that's mesh. Um, now, you can choose something like box, which is um, like going to auto fit a box to the shape of the objects. It will also um, automatically rotate it to the objects. Um, and then if you if you click, click play on this, I don't know if you notice in the playback, but the um, uh, Simulation is running faster, uh, but obviously it's a lot less accurate because um, we're now just colliding boxes. So, you know, uh, Convex Hull is pretty good and it's pretty fast. And so it's a good place to be unless you really, 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 really need um, uh, shapes with holes in. Like if you're doing a uh, kind of a mesh or a filter or something like that, um, or a chain or something like that, then in that case you can use meshes. So if I change everything to a mesh collision shape, you'll notice that the sim is much slower. And that's just because it's like super high, like super careful about collisions um, and does lots and lots of checks, but it's also, it's not perfect. So there are situations where, um, like if you make a stack of these objects, like if I had this 10 deep and they were all piling on top of each other, you would get some interpenetration. So, um, but in that kind of a situation, uh, when you're piling objects on top of each other, you definitely don't need mesh. What you need is hull. So, um, yeah, basically automatic is fine, but just be aware that um, if you have an object with a hole in it, uh, you, it will switch to mesh collision shapes and that can slow things down and also is, is not the highest quality collision shape. So in another example of a, a time when uh, we will choose uh, the mesh collision shape 
is, for example, if I just added some divisions to the shape, um, that's maybe too many for this example, but if I was to do something as simple as grab this face and if I was to simply extrude this inward like that, mesh the mesh collision object would now be chosen for this as far as automatic is concerned because it would uh, when it's adding the meshes to the solver we do it like we scan the meshes and check for any concave uh, faces or uh, well, any concave um edges and uh, this would uh trigger the switch to the mesh collision shape and um that just means that um you know and in this kind of a situation you would never need you would never need mesh you would just con uh, like a convex hull is fine so just be aware that we might automatically choose a collision shape that is kind of technically correct but you might not even you might not need that uh, level of um uh quality i suppose uh so yeah just just be aware of that kind of thing